Hello and welcome all to the Georgian War. This is a paid DLC from Eagle Dynamics official store uh, and this entails the fictional but mostly true story of the Russo-Georgian War that occurred back in 2008. So with that we will begin with mission one. We have now deployed to Georgia and we're going to start off with a cap mission. Sort of. So, current situation that we are in right now, the tensions between Georgia and its two breakaway territories, Abkhazia and South Ossetia, have been on constant rise for the few last years and have significantly increased in recent months, fueled mainly by the actions taken by the Russian Federation. Moscow has openly supported the unrecognized governments of both regions in political and military terms. By the beginning of 2006, Russian deliveries of military equipment to Abkhazia and South Ossetia reached such a level that the total amount of equipment, arms, and ammunition in these two regions, with a combined population of about 250,000, exceeded the total military capacity of Georgia with a population of 4.5 million. By the beginning of 2008, the two breakaway regions had received at no cost more than twice the military equipment possessed by Georgia. Russia also began issuing passports to inhabitants of both territories. At the same time, Georgian President Mikhail Shakashvili has named restoration of the territory integrity of Georgia one of its primary goals, alongside integration with the West and joining NATO. Both sides have been perceived by Moscow as a direct threat to Russia's vital interests, and steps have been taken to make sure that the Georgian government does not fulfill its ambition plans. The 2008 Bucharest NATO summit refused to grant a membership action plan to Georgia, postponing the decision to December. Some member states hinted that no country with a frozen conflict in its territory should be allowed to join the alliance. That only emboldened Russia, which began amassing large number of troops at the border with South Ossetia, at the northern entry point to the Roki Tonal. In spring 2008, the number of hostile actions against Tbilisi sharply increased, including almost total trade embargo after a number of people, including several Russians, were arrested on charges of spying. On 1 August, South Ossetian separatists have started shelling Georgian villages with sporadic response from the Georgian military. The situation is extremely tense and could escalate into a serious conflict. So for those not following the 2008 Russo-Georgian War as it happened, it sounds like all of it kicked off because Georgia deported four Russians that were convicted of espionage. So Russia's response to that was, let's get rid of Georgia completely. I'd say that's a weird flex, but okay. So what is our objective? You are part of a small detachment of the 390th Fighter Squadron sent to Georgia after joint military exercises with the US had concluded. The Georgian authorities have expressed an interest in purchasing a number of F-15C aircraft, and your team has been responsible for demonstrating the capabilities of the aircraft. You will fly as a lead of a two-ship flight call sign Colt 2. With the recent buildup of Russian forces in the region and open hostilities in South Ossetia, U.S. European Command, UCOM, decided to send an E-3A AWACS, call sign MAGIC, to support our operations in Georgia and monitor Russian activity. Your first task is to relieve the Turkish F-16s accompanying MAGIC and escort him safely to the anchor point. Your second objective is to perform a joint flight with the Georgian Su-25 Frogfoots. You will join up with them and perform a close formation flight along a predefined route. Frago and flight plan are available and contain all the important information regarding your task. The situation is extremely tense and open conflict could begin at any moment, with high possibility of direct Russian involvement. It is of paramount importance that you exercise caution and restraint and observe all international borders to avoid escalating tensions in the region. Okay, so we have that, now we have our op ward 033, which is current on the 7th of August at 1430 local. Let's get right into it. So our situation, four F-15Cs from the 390th Fighter Squadron have been deployed to Georgia for a presentation before the possible purchase of a total of eight airframes of the type by the Georgian Air Force. Evaluation flights are taking place against a backdrop of intensified exchange of fire at the ABL, which is the administrative boundary line between Georgia and South Ossetia. Not expecting any enemy forces, E-3A AWACS, callsign MAGIC, and a flight of four Georgian Su-25s, callsign BRAVO, are also taking part in the exercise. Uh, our mission, Colt 2 Flight, two F-15Cs will perform escort duties for MAGIC and fly a joint patrol with Bravo 1. Commander's intent is to show the capabilities of the F-15C to a Georgian commanders. The CONOP, Colt 2, will proceed to Waypoint 2 and rendezvous with MAGIC, performing an escort duty. 
Next, Colt 2 will join up with Bravo 1 and perform a low altitude patrol along the Georgian side of the ABL. Other units tasking will have Bravo 1, which is the Force 225s from Georgia doing CAS. Colt 3 will be two F 15Cs that will be escort, and Dodge 1, which will be two F 16s from Turkey providing escort. Coordinating instructions AMC for the mission will be magic. Rules of engagement weapons hold unless authorized by AMC. Support concept Baziani Air Base will be the home base, Sogan Lug will be the divert base. Weapon loadouts are restricted to include four AIM 9s, two AIM 120s, two fuel tanks, 610 gallons with 100% gun. AMC Magic will be on board E3A with four F 18Cs, Colt 2 and Colt 3. Higher Command Wizard AMC Magic Flight Lead will be Colt 2 1. Control frequencies are part of the briefing. AOX callsign will be Magic, escorted by two Turkish F 16s, callsign Dodge. We will take over. Today's service ceiling will be 30,000 feet at waypoint 2 to rendezvous with the AWACS and take over from the Turks. From there, waypoint 4 will be down at 8,000 to rendezvous with Bravo and the Georgian Frogfoots. And then that's just some supporting articles for the mission, and that will be our flight plan. That's kind of crazy. Alright, so we have that all set up. Let's go ahead and cut breathing comms and go into the mission.
hardly any air-to-air -air combat. Saddam had hidden or dismantled most of his planes, including the MiG-25s and Su-25s. We had total air superiority from day one. If I remember correctly, our side flew over 20,000 sorties and dropped more than 25,000 bombs. I see. You should be flying a Strike Eagle then. I'd rather focus on one activity, which is fighting enemy aircraft. I'll let E's and A-10s focus on the ground. And who knows, maybe you'll get your first air air kill. One out. Code Zero Two Magic, we are on station. Continue with your mission. The picture looks clean at the moment. Code Zero Three will relieve you. Magic, Code Zero Two pushing from waypoint three.
Final raise to land, active runway. Call 2-1. Vazani, clear to land. 